so I word vomited for a hot minute about time on time in a non-spoilery viewer discretion not required video review. Now I'm gonna spoil the crap out of it because I'm me and have you met me? To be fair I don't know if they actually qualify as spoilers so it's actually not spoilers it's more me being weird. You'll see. You've been warned. You know I want to be analytical and intellectual but screw that noise because oh my god Nick is totally in this book. So I'm hella behind in the Chronicles of Nick series, but y'all seeing my favorite primal evil be all good bad again had my brain flooded with fangirl endorphins. Our baby even sprouted his bat wings at one point in the plot and I swear I got happy all over myself. And classic Nick, he was awesome and hilarious as always. You read the note, he said he'd meet us at the cave. Bastard could have left a map or an address or longitude or latitude or something, but oh, he leaves you a note. Screw the rest of the world. Y'all can all die if you want. Just don't make my woman worry about me. You obviously have never had a mother or a girlfriend. You don't go to the bathroom without letting them know because this tells theory that's coming at us. Ring around the rosies, baby. I'd much rather face an armed demon whore drunk off the scent of my blood than one wild woman who's been worrying herself sick about where I've been. Ain't diamond cut big enough in the entire universe to make that beast smile and save your really important jewels from being drop locked out your nostrils. I love him. Along with getting a freaking great cameo from Mr. Adorable Smartass, can we all please take a second to fangirl over how awesome Gateri was? This woman is face achingly funny and so damn quick witted. He's an immortal warrior. I'm a geologist. Other than really hot sex, what do we have in common? What do you want? A stone. <laughs> um, look around the room, buddy. I'm a geologist. I've been collecting stones since I started walking. I'm gonna need a little bit more than one noun. Can I buy an adjective there, Pat? <laughs> God, that girl is ten kinds of perfect. Plus, I absolutely love that she is a human woman capable of defending herself against not human evil creeps. Cause we all know being an expert archer for a hobby is kind of helpful when slaying demons. Though interestingly, that kind of wit and quality writing does not just get designated for the key characters. Cause the secondary cast rocks the awesome too. First up, there's our boy Sasha. Astonishing, hilarious, wonderful Sasha. All right baby but just so you know you get hurt and I'm opening up a can of Bama whoop ass on them so big it's gonna look like an LSU bowl showdown do you hear me? Roll Tide. I speak dozens of languages and hundreds of dialects but be damned if I caught a single word of that. Am I the only one that's completely baffled? God love him. My fave shapeshifter has been in the DH world since 2003 so damn it he better get his own story one day I'm just saying. Because dude time on time reveals that Sasha's been crushing on someone for forever and a day. That has my butt so intrigued because I want to find out who and if they're gonna hook up later in the series. Oh and yeah a uh, shock and awe plot surprise everybody's favorite Atlantean god comes out to play and guys Asheron is now rocking a haircut. Yes this qualifies as a spoiler because holy crap longtime fans of the series will get me on that one because damn. Lastly there's William Jessup Brady, probably the only badass southern dark hunter ever. Quick aside to those who haven't read the books, dark hunter, humans turn to mortal warriors who kill vampires that suck the souls not the blood. Sundown is such an entertaining character. I know how I missed him. <sighs> it's on his hip. Why are y'all cutting the knives at me? I ain't undoing his pants. I love the man but I don't love the man. That right there is your job, woman. I don't mean that in a sexist or homophobic way. I just don't want to touch another man's junk if I can help it. And that's a personal choice guaranteed by the Constitution. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Ren doesn't want you touching his junk either. Damn straight. Literally. <laughs> A 19th century southerner who tries to be non-problematic. How can you not adore his butt? I loved all my favorite characters getting cameos, but I especially enjoyed the unique flavor of pantheons we got in Time on Time. I had a damn blast with the Native American and Mayan characters and gods. Cause Sherry made them hella fun, hella believable, and hella kick ass. But brace yourselves fangirls. As entertaining, fun, and funny as Time on Time is, it's also an emotional ninja punch to the face. Bullying betrayal, power struggles, parental abuse, emotional neglect, isolation, survival, physical handicaps, a commentary on the human existence, all from a book about averting an apocalypse. This thing's themes were intense and moving and you're gonna cry. I wanted to hold him and make it better, but I know it isn't that simple. Only in early childhood could everything be cured with a hug and a kiss. It's the saddest part about growing up. 
the biggest loss. Some scars went too deep to ever fully be concealed, and while you might succeed in hiding them from time to time, they always came out and reopened a wound that never fully healed. What the Guardian taught me was that we grow stronger and more intelligent as we learn to compensate for our faults. Unlike others, we have to teach ourselves to quickly adapt so that we can finally master what others take for granted. When something comes too easy for you, you never learn the skill of flexibility or improvement. Most of all, you don't learn determination and how to roll with a punch. Your mockery and cruelty were the fuel that my determination needed to see me through the darkest days of my life. And for that, dear brother, I'm forever in your debt. But weaknesses? Those are the most dangerous weapons in the universe. Weakness is not a physical trait. It's not a stutter or a bad hand or a missing leg. Weaknesses are those who live in our hearts. They can motivate us to the highest levels and they alone can utterly destroy us. Arrogance, the number one cause of death among both peasant and king. Beware its sharp blade. More times than not, it injures the one who wields it most of all. <laughs> Ever attempted to find a parking space at Christmas? Buy a shirt in a store the day after Thanksgiving? Those two things alone will make you doubt the humanity of humans and question if survival of the species is in anyone's best interest. What are we fighting for anyway? Better department store sales? Damn. I apologize for the length of that insert, but this book had so many powerful moments that picking just one would have been criminal. Don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom, cause comedy. Blessed, blessed comedy. <clears throat> Shall we save the rest of the world now? Eh, sure. Why not? If everyone dies, I'd have to cook my own food and I'd cook like shit. How about you? Uh-uh. Only fried bread and okra and <laughs> I make no claims as to the edible state of either then we'd best be saving the rest of the world. <laughs> See, hella powerful book, but hella funny too. So at the end of the day, there's a lot to love in here. With Sherry's unique flavor of writing, romance fans will love it, action fans will love it, adventure fans, suspense fans, horror fans, drama fans, everybody's gonna love it. And yes, I know that's an exaggeration, but I don't care, cause happy book noise, happy book noise, happy book noise, happy book noise. I better shut up before I do myself an injury. So yeah, I know I mostly do Asian dramas and Asian movie reviews. Every once in a while, I just, I gotta bust out my old fangirl. Cause fangirling is, it's an adventure. <laughs> fangirling is an adventure. Maybe that'll be my outro. Almost a year into making videos and I still have no freaking outro. Put in comments if you can think of something mildly amusing and not shameless plugging. Cause I don't like to plug myself. I feel bad enough plugging my social media in the end screen, so something not obnoxious. <laughs> now I'm just alienating everyone. <laughs> just keep talking, Jackie. Make all of your subscribers angry. Every suggestion is a precious snowflake, I promise. Anyway, thanks for watching and putting up with my randomness. Okay, I need to stop talking now. Stop talking. Stop talking.